Radio Hereford FC, the only station with full match commentaries of the Bulls, every game, every week. Welcome again to We're Going Down the Pub. This is episode 24. It never is. But it's the 24th one we've done oh my since word. we did the Wembley one. We've now done twice as many episodes as there are episodes of Faulty Towers. Oh. But <laughs> There's but, a certain correlation there, yeah, isn't it? But, yeah. but that gets repeated more often than ours, I think. <laughs> uh, there's a certain correlation. Yes, you, you've guessed it. I've got Simon Wright with me again, and we're going to talk about the all-ticket game at Lark Hall. Yes. Yeah, yes. Now, 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 we must say that after our Slimbridge efforts, um, I think your gentlemen in overalls have been in touch with you, haven't they? <laughs> because you called, you, you didn't call their club grim, you no, called no. their selection of beers Well, that's right, which grim. I'm still maintaining. It's not exactly the most entertaining range of beers, but they have improved them. But, but they, uh, have, they are, they are uh, improved. See, yeah. we are now responsible for them actually getting a guest I think, I think it's down to us. Yeah. I, and what is it they're getting in at Slimbridge? Pig's ear. Right. Okay. Uh, well, let's hope we don't make a pig's yeah, ear. Yeah, exactly. It's from it's a local brewery. Uh, yeah. Brewery product. Yep. Five percent. Yep. So it sounds promising. So but there should you be go. good. Mm. Anyway, that's anyway, uh, yeah. That's uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, Slimbridge. That this is Lark Hall. Indeed. Guest contributors Bill Thomas and Richard Tompkins. Indeed. Well, yes. Good old favourites of ours. Yeah. Well, I mean, talking Bill didn't quite believe what he saw when he went. No. <laughs> so Richard went as well, just to confirm yeah. it. You see, it's not so much the ground. No, yeah, it's the surroundings. Mean, it's, it's getting there, it's, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. the last quarter of a mile, but we'll come yeah. to that. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be the key thing but, we're going to feature well, on, certainly. Let's uh, start off with where, where is it? Where is it, yeah. yeah. You know, that's one of the great things about this league and the one below. We've had so many good geography lessons. And at Lark Hall, depending on your point of view, it's either a village or it's a district right. in Bath. Right, right on the edge of Bath, whether it's a district or a village, whatever, it's right on the edge of Bath. Now, of course, that immediately rings up alarm bells because Bath, if you've ever been there, it's actually quite hilly. Oh, yes. Isn't it? Bath it's hilly is quite and hilly. congested. Yes, that's right. It's in a little bit of a bowl. So if you're on the outskirts of it, which Larkhall obviously is, yes. uh, this is going to lead to some of the problems that we will mention Absolutely. In a well, moment. we can't probably stress right. this enough, really. Okay. Um, shall we talk a little bit about history of Larkhall FC? Yep, yep, indeed. Yep. Well, they basically, they were long-term residents of the Western League. For 30-odd years, they were stuck in the uh, Western League Second Division, which is fairly modest existence. And they finally managed to get out into the Prem, and then they won the Prem, but they couldn't get out because their ground is so modest. And that's something else we'll come back to. <laughs> right. You're, you're suggesting yeah. it still is. It, it's well, I think it's probably got the smallest capacity in the league, but right. uh, apart from so it's going to be minimum requirements then. Yes, the league. Okay. it is. It is. Um, they finally got up to step four, our division, in 2015. So they are, you know, they're, they're newcomers as well. Yeah. In their very first season, they got to the playoff final, uh, but lost to Stratford Town. And um, Trevor, I was there. I was at that game. Really? I was. Yes. Um, and where was that held? It was held at Stratford, the highest right. place club gets, um, right. yeah, gets the yeah, home game. Yeah. And, uh, very, very briefly, Stratford went 3-0 up in about 20 minutes and they were strolling it and then they sort of like, took their eye off the ball and Lark Hall come back with two goals and there was a mighty scramble for the last 10 minutes, yeah. but they just hold on. So they so went up a good game, minutes. but not if you're a Lark Hall uh, Exactly. Great for neutral. But, yeah. um, so, you know, last season they finished 11th, um, you know, complaining that they haven't got much money. Mm. Probably not surprisingly, you know, given the circumstances. Um, we've we touched on the keeping it in the family theme mm. many times so across many this times. division. Yeah, uh, it's not often though that the manager um, packed it in and got his dad to come in and take over, which is exactly what's happened at Larkhall. A Geraint uh, sorry. Beta. Sorry, are you saying him? And he got his. Is 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 that no? He got his son to take over. You got no, no. Written uh, in the script here. Do you, do you know? Have I you got I, it wrong. I, I I got it wrong then, but I've got right, it right okay. now. No, so, it's very it's yeah. very complex. Yes, it, I thought no. Um, so I Phil, didn't know what to think. Phil but, retired uh, and got his dad. 
It's the, the other way around. Um, it's Garant who's retired and his dad, Phil's taken over. Oh, uh, right. Sorry, okay. I got this very confused. Right. Yeah. 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 But yes. anyway. But anyway. Um, that aside, whether that's, that's right or wrong, yeah, it is the yeah. third manager of the season. Third, indeed, indeed, which you know isn't um, isn't ideal, is it? The results have been poor of late. They up to very recently they only had the three draws since mid-November, yeah. and you know who could forget that ten-two embarrassment mm. at Taunton? Well, that was that was Taunton. That was. Uh, Taunton after they'd beaten us. Yes. Uh, oh, yes, they were flying. But of course, Taunton flying. haven't played since. <laughs> well, no, played, no, yeah. that's well, right. Well, they did, they played that's the last right. weekend but, and only um, drew. So. You know, yeah. um, a couple of gimmies come along for Larkall recently, because they won at Wantage, 4-1, yeah. mm. and they sort of almost won at Bridgewater recently. Yes, that's right. Um, that was, if anybody is not familiar with it, um, the game was abandoned with five minutes to go with the Larks 4-0 up. And... Um, Gurant Beta actually in hospital with all sorts of facial injuries. Right. It's a was, horrible, horrible mess. Was, was this an injury sustained during normal play or is it foul play? Describe very much as foul play that he was attacked when the ball was nowhere near him. That's certainly his version. Right. So um, that's gone to an inquest. And right. it may even go to the police as well because there's lots of witnesses. So yeah. that's a bit of a mess. And we don't know the outcome of that. No, yes, that's we'll, still we'll keep away from here. that. We don't want to prejudice um, anything. No, indeed. Not that anybody listens to <laughs> what we think about what uh, we see. You know, um, we've, seen, we've seen lots of incidents off the ball, oh, but perhaps not by have, the width, we... width of the pitch. No, yeah. I think we've seen more than the ref has, but there you go. I mean, yeah. for, for once, uh, the Larks were very much sinned against as opposed to sinning. So you would hope that their 4-0 mm. uh, will stand? Well, you'd hope really. so, it's a natural fairness. Yes. But, uh, Otherwise well, they could end up doing a Morpeth. Which... <laughs> Lord, <laughs> yes, poor Morpeth. Yeah, oh, I feel no. so for them. <laughs> right, but, OK. Uh, yeah, let, let me touch on Larkhorst's disciplinary record. When they played at Edgar Street, they'd already had seven players sent off that season. <laughs> They have improved since then, in fairness. They've only had one. Um, somewhat comically, I suppose, the goalkeeper, Ben John, has been sent off again. That's the third time third he's time. been sent off. So he's missed nine games through suspension. Yeah. I mean, that's some kind of record for a goalkeeper right. to be sent off. Um, well, unless, unless yeah. any of them were for two yellows, of course, in which case there'd only be one game, but he's yeah, missed some games. All straight reds. So um, their reserve goalkeeper um, plays a few matches. Yes, well, like the, well <laughs> indeed, yeah. I mean, Lark Hall have bought in a couple of people recently. They've bought in yet another goalkeeper, surprisingly yes. enough. And a chartered accountant. Right, who plays? Um, well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, every club needs a chartered They are one of these clubs. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of clubs yeah. now don't bother with a goalkeeper on the bench. Do they? They have their. No. Uh, yeah, you no. would. I mean, we've no. done it a few. We did a lot last season. We, we did. did. And the early part of this didn't have a goalkeeper on the bench. If you were Lark Hall manager, you would not entertain not having a goalkeeper <laughs> on the bench, would you really? <laughs> you wouldn't dare. No. No. Unless you've got a Jamie Willits in your side or something, something you know, who's well, a very good between the sticks, you yeah, wouldn't dream. I mean, he's of that tall, he could stretch over the crossbar <laughs> anyway. But, uh, oh, yeah. And of right. course, um, obviously, one player we're going to recognise, uh, Joe Tumulty. Yeah. He scored eight and he's made seven more, so he certainly made his. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, he's a class player. Mm, mm, he's, that's right. I was, I watched the other night on YouTube. I was going back through some of the old matches, and I watched our eight 0 win against Ina last season when he scored two oh, goals yes, there, yes. and one of them was a chip, was a lob from the edge of the area of the goalkeeper. He's a, he's a class striker. Yeah. So, but it, it's pity, really. I think he's still, yeah, mm. he got a little bit impatient about leaving. Well, I think, and the club was yeah. travelling and oh. uh, and his work and that sort of thing well, as well. You know, but, uh, Bear in mind that, you know, for all those people travelling from the Shire to Lark Hall, would they be happy doing that three times a week every week? Because I'd imagine it's pretty much of a challenge for anybody. Yeah, yeah. I do apologise yeah. for my phone bleeping up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... Uh, yeah, well, that's a bit of background on the club and their state of play. Um, I'm just really... A, Going back to the point you made earlier about highlighting the surroundings around the ground, because that really is key. Yeah. The roads in and around Lark Hall are really narrow. Think think of like Cornish roads, if you like. You know, right. That sort of narrowness. Unfortunately, it's jammed with people who drive like Londoners. It's not right. a good combination, it really isn't. Um, and the roads leading to the ground are particularly narrow. You've got no chance of parking anywhere. And um, the official car park outside the ground basically reserved for officials. 
Right. The worst bit of all, and I think, you know, this is faintly alarming, really, the direct approach track, if you like, to the football ground doesn't have any pavements. It's narrow and steep. Um, Richard Tompkins says, think about the steepest 200 yards of Alestone Hill, and you've got a pretty good approximation, and a very, very yeah. narrow Alestone yeah, yeah. Hill. I mean, what we will, what we do hope will happen is that the road will be closed to traffic after a certain time because otherwise right. it's a bit frightening. That is the only way up or down to the... the it is, the only, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, unless in the next fortnight they install a stair lift, we've had <laughs> yeah. it really. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I really do hope they're going to be sensible and do that because otherwise I'll be pretty scared afterwards. And when you get there, the capacity is only a thousand, a thousand anyway. Yeah. And it is yeah. all ticket and they are it on is, sale. It is, it uh, is. At the moment. Yes, and um, of course the ticket providers not exactly cover themselves in <gasps> glory. No, indeed. I ended up with two lots. Other people have ended up with two lots. Some have got three lots. One poor sort of fears he's going to get five lots. There was a... Uh, but, but yeah. what, uh, if you've got five lots, does that mean then that you've got uh, you know, a fair proportion of the capacity? Or have, you got to, <laughs> yes. or have you got to rip them up or return them? Or, <laughs> what do you want to give them charges every time you get tickets? <laughs> um, there's an error on the, on the site. And the same thing's happening yeah. with Slimbridge as well, isn't it? Because that was yes. the, the same it's Belgravia. The same, yeah. yeah. We haven't yet heard about any problems with that because they haven't sent them out yet, which is a downright well, bizarre. Well, Slimbridge... They haven't said out yet. They're, they're going out today, I believe. Uh, and, and, so, uh, and the match is in five days' time? Yep. Oh, crikey. Yeah, well... I've, I've, you know what? In some yeah. respects, the club might have been better off doing it themselves, mightn't they? Mm. Because with mm. with the small capacities, you're not look, looking about... Nobody would mind you paying an extra quid for postage, that sort of thing, yeah? And, and they actually would probably have done it much more efficiently, but if you only need... They need a couple of volunteers, a couple of days, when they got the orders in, post them out, I don't know... Mm. I don't know. It, it's a tricky one. It's they're just not, they're just not it's set up to the easy work. option to give yeah. it to another company who, who do this ridiculous charge of one pound forty four yeah. handling charge per ticket. I I can oh. live with that if they've done the job properly well. and, and to the right time scales. Um, but they've got an error on their website, which every time ma makes the site freeze. And because you can't get any further, you start again, not realising it's already accepted your, your details, regardless of whether they're complete or not. And then you end up with a whole lot of tickets that you're going to struggle to deal with. Yeah. And there's other people who've basically had no tickets at all. I think they've been sent to the wrong person. So it's not... Yeah, well, they haven't been sent to the wrong person. They've been sent to you. You've got, <laughs> you've got four other people with lots of tickets. <laughs> well, I've redistributed them, so there you go. Right, OK. Um, I, I, have now, made, I have made Lark Hall and Slimbridge aware of the difficulties. Well, And yeah. they're both doing well, what they them can. them to sort out, isn't it? Well, really? it is, it is. But, you know, on the they're day, it could be a mess. But um, yeah. Well, it does mean that there are an awful lot more tickets floating about mm. um, that are, you know... Not, I mean, I can imagine maybe some unscrupulous people think, oh, I've got an extra pair of tickets I've been sent here. I know. I'll flog them, get the money back on my own, if you like, and then yeah. two people can come. And all of a sudden you find more people are turning up than the ground can hold. Well, yeah? indeed, but I, mean, I assume that for it, everybody gets charged for every ticket they get sent, so... Uh, who knows? Yeah. It's a bit of a mess. Uh, yeah. Obviously, one to avoid in the future. Um, what we do know about the arrangements for for parking is basically you park in the town, um, which is frankly sensible because there is no physical place Correct. to park any near the village. The village. The I'm village. Sorry. Yes, yeah. the village. You're quite right. Okay, the yeah. village or the district. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now they sent me uh, links to two car parks, which I've interpreted as best I can. Yeah. Uh, one appears to be the new Oriel Hall, and it's Oriel is O R I E L, new right. Oriel Hall in St Saviour's Road. Yeah. Um, that seems to be a community centre. And yep. uh, I get the impression it's not very big. It is a free car park though, so that's quite useful. Mm -hmm. And the other one uh, appears to be the St Mark's Church School in Baytree Road. Right. That appears to be a bit further away. I don't, there's not too many details about that. How big it is. The New Oriel Hall, um, the club reckons five to eight minutes walk. Uh, our volunteers suggest it might take rather longer. Mind you, than Richard that. is one of those volunteers, and when I saw mm. Richard the other day uh, at uh, one of our away matches, he's obviously had, he obviously wasn't going to be driving, I'm putting it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and it may have taken him longer than five to eight minutes right. to up a steep hill right. like that. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. And it's certainly um, take me longer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's five to t eight minutes, and it's going to be mm. almost certainly uphill nearly all the way. Um, I mean, my general concern is that the whole village will be gridlocked. It's busy, shall we say, at the best at, at normally, so when we descend on them, um, I really can only suggest you get there early just to uh, just to do what you can. If you yep. can't park in those, there are other car parks, but there are charges. Um, so right, there now, you go. for those mm. people who do get you there, get there actually managed to get up that yeah. yeah, what about the ground itself? Okay, it's a... It's a sort of minimum criteria again. There's a basic yeah. stand with, I've actually written down 160 rows. That I didn't make, mean that. That would make it sort of the. Um, uh, yes, Barcelona. The, the, well, no, yeah. it's more like the North Battle, yeah. Trafford, really. You yeah. know, that one yeah. that ends the sky. No, there aren't 160 rows. There's 100, probably 160 60 seats. seats. That's more like I think it might yes. be two rows. Um, I'm looking at are they, aren't they on a bank as well? Yes, it's all banked up. Yeah, it's, so they're it on feels, the top of a bank. It feels like a cricket arena, but everybody says. Um, so you've got these 160 seats and it's a tiny standing area. There's no real terracing as such as far as I could see. There's just like a flat concreted path around all the sides. Right. Um, disables, now disables nearly need to think about this. Um, if you're a blue badge holder then I'd suggest you get in touch with the club because they've got to find you somewhere close. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be a hard clo hard climb for them up the hill. Yeah, um, yeah as you said, yeah. the steepest part of Aylstone Hill is quite steep. Yeah. So if it's akin to that, and there's 200 yards of it, yes, yes. you so, need to contact, um, the cl contact like yeah. Hall uh, oh. and get yourself booked into the car park. I'm sure, looking at the aerial maps, I would have thought there's enough car parking up there for the officials and the, uh, whatever. And, uh, that, well, I've, uh, heard, I've heard 50 spaces, so yes, there should be a bit of capacity yeah. for blue badge. The, club, the, the team yeah. coach will go, but I imagine no. the team may not... It being in the southwest, then they may not travel to that no, by coach. I would no, think they I would think probably be the best way. Okay. Yeah. Um, there, obviously, there is a clubhouse there, uh, yeah. but Richard has had a thorough look at the clubhouse and uh, choose my words carefully here. Um, use Richard's words instead. They only normally sell fizzy beers on draft. That's grim, isn't it? Really? Well, that? I'm not using uh, that. Word. Oh, 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 I'm awfully sorry. <laughs> I don't want any more texts at half no. past four in the morning, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, however, and there is some salvation, they do bottled Wainwright Golden. And that's very nice. But that's a good it one. It is a good I'm one, yeah. Yeah, with it, excellent. But, uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, but it is bottled, so it's, it's, still, it's still a bit fizzy. Yeah. But, um, yeah. you know, maybe they'll take the hint from Slimbridge and get something in that they can it make a little bit of money hint. out of. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Fairly standard catering. Um, so probably not surprisingly, they, they include plain ham rolls. Those probably would have plain ham, really, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If we didn't tell you before, that is yeah. the name of the ground. Yeah, yeah the sorry, plain, plain ham roll. Heaven knows where that yeah. comes from. Yeah. Um, Richard yeah, well, says they could have called. They could have called it the Cheese and Onion Stadium, of course, done, yeah. because they do do cheese and onion and rolls well. as well. Yeah, the pasty yeah. ground. You won't. Know, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Richard does say though that their chips, por their portion of chips, is very generous. Right. So if you like lots of chips, you'd be well away mm. there. So there you go. Yeah. Mind you, that he probably attended that on a day when there were about 50 people there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the portions may vary. <laughs> <laughs> so if that clubhouse doesn't satisfy, um, in the village, there's a couple of places that have been checked by our hard-working volunteers yeah. and pronounced good. One of them is the Lark Hall Inn, which is conveniently in St Saviour's Road. Ah, that's yes. the same road as one of the, the car, car parks. parks. Yeah, yeah that's yes. handy. Yeah. Courage Best. Courage Best, mm. yeah. Butcombe. Excellent. And Thatcher's. Yeah. And what's described as an oldie worldy atmosphere. Well, hang on a minute. The whole village is got oldie worldy atmosphere. <laughs> the whole of Bath <laughs> is an oldie worldy. You don't get much oldie worldy than Romans, do you? No, really? no, very true. Yeah. Very true. But yeah. oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, while we're in St Saviour's Road, I need to mention Goody's Deli. Oh, that sounds like cake to me. Well, there are there are cakes, yeah. and cake lovers can be quoted happy, <laughs> but there's, they, right. they, they reckon their coffee is first rate, so if you don't want to have a drink, want to have a coffee, try Goody's Deli, because it's right by the car park. Yeah. Um, and the other place, now this is thoroughly recommended, again by a hard-working Richard Tompkins, uh, Bladud's Head, is that how you pronounce it? Wow, well, it looks good to me. Bladhood's Head? Yes, B L A D U D, Bladhood, yeah. I believe. And that's in Catesley Place. 
The Bascom's recommended. You can also get Tribute or, and Dune Bar, but let's not go there. And Thatcher's again. Right, OK. So there's a reason, very reasonable, reasonable choice yeah. there. Yeah, not too bad at all. OK, getting there. Getting there, yeah. I mean, it's, in terms of miles, it's not that far. It's 75 miles. Right. Um, bit of tip from Larkall, though. They do suggest programming your sat-nav uh, for the A4 Larkall Square or Salisbury Road in the village. Because if you put the ground in, you'll end up getting stuck, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, being uh, sent on increasingly more and more narrow roads and just driving you, putting your yeah. air out. So, A4 Larkle Square or Salisbury Road, and then look for parking. That's, that's your best bet. Is a rail doable? Is rail doable? Um, yeah, it is. It is. Um, need to change at Newport. It's a two hour run. Um, the station's about two miles from the ground. That's Bath, what, Bath, Bath Spa, Spa yeah. yeah. Bus station just across the road, which is handy. And there's a number seven bus which runs every half an hour. Uh, need to ask for Hillview Road. Oh, we're back to Sw Swindon Submarine again. Oh, we are, ask we are. the driver ask for the, the driver, round, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a four, four pound ride. Yeah. And then a ten minute walk, which is probably going to be uphill. Right. Or you might just say, sorry, let's get a taxi. If there's two or more of you, it's going to, it's going to work out probably better. Um, be aware, uh, Bath Rugby are at home. As you, they always are, aren't they? Rugby clubs always at home at the same time yeah, we're going yeah. there. So expect men with odd shaped balls and cauliflower ears filling up the pubs all uh, over the city. You know? <laughs> Keith will notice that one. I'm sure you'll edit that one out. Oh, we'll see, we'll he's see. laid back these we'll days. I can, yeah. I can fill in the details now about uh, Hereford away days. Good, oh, yes. old Reg. Good old Reg. Um, he's already half filled one coach for this. Uh, it's an 11 a.m. start. His usual route via Ross and Monmouth is £15 and according to his Facebook page there is a minibus ferry laid on ah, right, right. Uh, at the other end which will be needed for that 200 yard steep, yes. uh, steep climb so that he has put on Facebook, I looked at it today, minibus ferry so that has obviously right. been factored in so I would suggest get your name on that coach when I came out to record this which is the Monday, so we're just a fortnight away from that game, are we? Yeah. No, three weeks away from the game, it's about. Um, it, yeah. That coach was already two thirds full. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, if it's oversubscribed, there'll be extra transport mm. laid on. It's £15. Okay, with an 11 a.m. start. So he's not looking at getting there desperately early, no. nope. which would be very wise. Um, uh, yeah, we've covered an go. awful lot there in a yes, short uh, space of time. And, you know, um, as usual, this all this information will... Well, it's already in the fast-selling talking book, of yes, course. And it is a fast-selling talking Indeed, book. Indeed, Mainly really. because yeah. of the quality of the cover. More than anything, oh, the, con well, the content isn't bad, either. Well, what about the quality of the sellers? Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were charging for staples when before you arrived, because oh. you were late arriving. Oh, dear. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, if that's... you haven't got your copy, yeah. um, there will, there should be some left. If you're going to Lark Hall, but you're not catching up with us beforehand, yeah. often, but of course we've got uh, Slimbridge. We've got Slimbridge and then Wimbush. The and then Wimbush. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Wimbush. <laughs> who, who was Wendy Wimbush? I have no idea. Somebody you knew, is yeah, it? Yeah, Wendy yeah. Wimbush. I mean, she tele was a television presenter. <laughs> Somebody please let me know before I Google it and find out. <laughs> Look, thanks so very much for go. listening, thanks everybody. For listening. We'll be back with you again for four, uh, 25th oh. in the series. So we'll have a little celebration that'll for that be, quarter of a century. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you? Mm. Fine. Yeah, mm. the next one will be Didcot. We'll put that out in a couple of weeks. Thanks very much for listening, and we'll see you soon. This is Radio Hereford FC, the home of the Bulls. Match Day Live.